Hey everybody and welcome to this tutorial. In this video I will show you how you can create realistic scenes in Unreal Engine. In the end of the video you will be able to create a similar result on your own. If we want to create those type of scenes, we need to have the right assets first. The Megascans library is free if you use it with Unreal Engine, so we make use of it. There are thousands of high quality assets. Choose whatever you want and what fits the style of your shot. Later you can roughly see what I use, but I recommend that you just take what you like. For the character I simply choose one of the Paragon characters, which are free to use in the Unreal Engine marketplace. For better quality you can decide using a MetaHuman here. Before you even start the program, it's very useful to first create the scene or the shot in your head. In the most optimal scenario, you have a reference or concept art as well. Usually you get inspiration from everywhere. For example, ArtStation, YouTube, or simply movies you like. In my case, I just had this shot in my head and I tried to recreate it as good as I can. For me, this is the most fun part. You got an idea in your head and you can translate it into a digital environment. In the future, I will do more tutorials about that topic as well. The first thing you need to do in the engine is to just block out the scene. Try to find the good looking angle within the camera frame. So you build the scene exactly to this camera shot. It's very important to understand that we are not building an open world or video game. We create a shot which is matched perfectly to this exact camera position. This is more time efficient and resource saving. This is not a step by step tutorial. I think you get the best results of learning if you understand the process and again start creating your own art in your own style. Things like camera angle, focal length and camera animation should be going hand in hand with the blockout process. You can see I just tried to recreate the scene in my head. I put some assets together and finding a good looking angle with the camera. For this shot I got the idea of this specific camera animation. So it starts from the ground, goes up and reveals the character who is standing in front of a cliff. This was the first scene where I used the animation curves. At some point I just felt stuck in my possibilities if I only used the transformation options. To be honest, it was more like a try and error process, but it makes fun exploring the advantages of animation curves. I was a little bit scared of this tool, but in the end it helped creating this shot and I learned a lot of new things here. If you have your basic block out and set up your camera right, here comes the fun part. Setting up light and finding cool looking assets that create highlights in your scene. For this shot I used a natural lighting, which in my case was an HDRI backdrop. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found something new for yourself or your workflow. I would be very happy about a subscription if you like this kind of content. If you got any questions or steps that I didn't talk about, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, stay creative.